Hey guys, Shamer 37 x bringing up episode 35 of Let's Play The Bottom Prize of Rebirth. In, this ep in the last episode, we did the, what was it, the Demo Man Challenge here, unlocked the Chaos card, which is pretty insane. <clears throat> and in this episode, I think we're going to do a Isaac D6 run. And I noticed something also, that when you uh, select hard mode here, it actually, the different vignette that you get there, it actually uh, stays, like, see how it gets, like, darker around the edges? That actually will stay until you go back to the title screen and then go back into that save. And then it goes back to normal. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to do it. We haven't done hard mode in a while. And with D6, uh, I don't see how it could possibly go wrong. Oh, yes, the cellar. I think this is the first time I've been to the cellar. We might have been there last time, and I just wasn't paying attention, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, we finally actually get to go to the cellar. Oh, there's a uh, blue rock there. Bam. Excellent. Uh, okay, won't pick that up yet. What do we got? 48 hour inch? Oh, that's really good with the D6, actually. I uh, would have preferred to have gotten that after I'd used it, but that's fine. Alright, so for those of you who might be new uh, to, to, to Isaac, the D6 is an item that allows you to re-roll all pedestal items in the room, uh, which is pretty ridiculous. And uh, this is generally the character that, that people use when they want like a serious Isaac run, uh, after they already have most things unlocked, at least of course, because you can't unlock everything with them. But Because uh, this allows you to, to kind of customize your runs a lot more. And, and if there's like a really bad item in a treasure room, you just use it and then you get a different item. Maybe get something really good. So let's see what we got here. Ah, see, for example, a little trophy I've gotten him in like two previous runs recently, and I'm tired of him, so I'm gonna use it. All right, we got thunder thighs. Uh, you know, I think I think I'm gonna take thunder thighs. This might be the first time I actually like legitimately found thunder thighs. Uh, yeah, it allows you to break rocks, which is pretty pretty useful. It does make me wish that I hadn't used my. Uh, my bomb on that blue rock in the other room, but that's okay. So do I want to try to go for the boss rush? I don't even know if I'll bother, to be honest. Especially now that I have thunder thighs. I can be, ooh, excuse me. I can be moving a little bit slower. And I'm just not sure if... Uh, I'd certainly try for it. It's never something that I, like, actively avoid. But... But, uh... I'm not gonna try super hard to go for it. Especially since with thunder thighs, I do want to take the time to break every single rock in the hopes that I'll get a, uh... Trap door to a super room. Okay, some fires. I don't know if I've ever seen this exact room before. This doesn't look familiar. All oh, these suddenly seems to have just increased for me, like, when I was actually playing. That was strange. Anyway, it might just be the fire kind of making make things look different. I don't know. Or the lack of fire, really. Okay, what do we got here? Pin. You're not Pin. There he is. <laughs> trying to trick me. And I got the, the battery there, so if he gives me a shitty item, then I can use that there. You can also use it to re-roll uh, double deals, shop items, the D6, I mean. You can use it to re-roll pretty much any um, any pickup item that's in the room, uh, as far as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure, yeah, angel rooms too, of course, so that's pretty cool. As for where I'm going to go to, I think it's finally time that I unlock the dark room, to be honest. I've kind of been putting that off a lot. I don't, I can't recall what you unlock as I think for, um, for beating Isaac with Isaac, you get, um, Isaac's Tears, I think, which is a use item or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. And I'm not going to leave Squeezy behind, so I'll go ahead and take that. Squeezy's too great. I like Squeezy a lot. He's a, he's a cool guy. All right, now I'm just going to go back and pick up that battery just to make sure that I have it, have the, uh, the D6 to use on the next floor. <laughs> Oh, mercy. Okay, don't have- oh yeah, I almost left the, uh, soul harp behind, too. That would not have made me happy. Okay, can you even get a trap door in the first floor? I've never seen it happen before. That was, like, a triple rhyme there, I don't even- I mean, I rhyme all the time, but I just didn't- that would, uh, <laughs> it happened that accidentally. Alright, moving on, then. Oh, what do we got here? Yes, yes, squeezy. Beautiful eyes. With your special eyes. Uh, curse room. I'll probably go into there, just not right in there. Okay, there's an arcade. There are certain items that I don't think that you can uh, you can re-roll with the D6. Uh, for example, how the um, certain bosses always give certain uh, certain drops, like how the, the horsemen always give a a, a cube of meat or a ball of bandages. Uh, I think you can actually re-roll that into the other one, so if you get the cube of meat, you can re-roll that into the vault bandages. Don't quote me on that, because I genuinely have no idea if that's true. 
but you might be able to, but like there are, are like a series of bosses that give you just like a like one item like I think we have one of them unlocked. Gish, I think we have unlocked in here. Uh, the boss Gish. He always gives the little Gish, I believe, unless they change that in this game. And I remember in the previous game, you could not re-roll that into anything other than Little Gish. It would re-roll just right back into it, into itself. I, again, I don't know if that's still the case, but I'd be willing to bet that it probably is, but I'm not entirely sure. That's how it was, at least in the previous game. I'm pretty sure that's how it is with Horsemen, that you can't re-roll the, um, the, the cube meter, the ball of bandages, into anything other than the, the other one. But, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I've, of course, I just got the D6, and this is the first time I've actually had a run with it in this game. So, really not entirely sure. I'm going to play it safe and go for the treasure room. Oh, Cricket's body. Mm, that's a tempting offer. I think I'm going to pass, though. I'm definitely not taking the black... Well, that was neat. Definitely not taking the black bean. Uh, what is... Oh, the book Oh, that really hurts that I'm probably not going to want to take that with me. The thing about the D6 is that generally if you get, if you have a run with the D6, you don't leave the D6 behind. That's just not, get out of my face. That's just not something that you do. But the problem with that is that I have to leave the book of revelations behind, which is always a major concern. Hmm. Then I could possibly build the, uh, the super meat boy, or the bandage girl. I'd it's a shame to, to get rid of it so early, but I might actually want to take the Book of Revelations with me. Just for the chance of being able to, to create a full Meat Boy, which I think is an achievement that you have to do. At least it certainly was in the last game. Uh, that I, I think I'm going to want to do that, actually. I think I think you get an achievement if you create either the Super Meat Boy or the Bandage Girl. I don't know. That's that's a tricky offer. I'm actually going to head into here, I think. Okay, it's worth it. It's actually going to be real mad if I went into there and there's some sort of pedestal item that I would have wanted to reroll because I was impatient and didn't wait to be able to use this again. But that's okay. Uh, that's really that's really a tempting offer. And I'm not going to be able to reroll again, unfortunately. Which definitely sucks. But won't be. I'll have to pick up the black bean, unfortunately. Which uh, a pretty shitty item. <laughs> Pretty 100% a terrible item. It's not as bad as the regular bean, at least, but still pretty disappointing. Okay, of course we got famine. Hmm. Really, I'm really contemplating this because I know that the revelations is one of the few items that's debatably worth taking with you when you have the D6 run. One of few. This one's coming. I will be right back. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it was, it was Bob Kinnear. She <laughs> wants to treat Pokemon. <laughs> he, he just got the, um, he got some Porygons and he, he wanted to, uh, to trade them over, to trade them so that he can, uh, he has, he has Porygons and he has the, the trade items to evolve them on trade and he wants to do that. And I think I'm missing one of them. So, uh, he's going to let me have one of them as well. So uh, right after this recording, I'm gonna do that and hopefully trade some other Pokemon. Because I'm, I'm currently like, um, I believe I'm 20. I'm like less than 30 Pokemon away from having a complete Pokedex. Oh man, I'm already gonna have a. Uh, I'm actually gonna take that just so that I can actually pick up all these hearts. Fair enough, Gibby. And then of course I just walked over that rock. Beautiful. Oh yeah, now I'm having a major, cons major um, debate over what I want to do here. Uh, I hate to cut the recording again, but I'm, I'm going to look, if there's a an achievement that involves getting the Super Meat Boy, I'm going to stick with the Book Revelations, I think, so I'll be right back. There is a, a Meat Boy achievement, so in order to maximize my odds of being able to get that in this run, I'm, I'm going to take the Book Revelations. Although, of course, there's always the concern that you can get a ball of bandage instead and completely ruin it, uh, since you can only ever get four of the items in one run. And as a result, you could get like three cubes of meat and then you get a ball of bandage and then suddenly you're going to mess the whole thing up. And I'm just going to take that just because I might as well. <clears throat> but uh, during research for that, I found, of course, some good some good uh, strategies are using the the D6 and the habit and stuff and just like repeatedly re-rolling uh, 
things, and also, of course, if you if you get those options from a shop, uh, which I think is kind of the goal, then you will always get one or the other, because then your options will either be the cube of meat or the ball of bandage, and then you just take the, the cube of meat. I don't think there's one for, ball, for the bandage girl, which is strange, but uh, it probably wasn't the best decision, but I really wanted to try and do that. I'm going to try to use the uh, cube of meat offensively, too, which is because it's actually pretty powerful. Same as the, uh, just the regular pretty flies are in this game. Ooh, balls. Oh, that was almost completely... Actually, that might have been completely wasted. God damn it. Someone got, like, half a heart out of that. Oh, I need to take out that fire. No, stay away from the fire. Stay away. There we go. Ooh, ooh that was close. I'm not going to even try to use the cube of meat on these guys. It's too risky. But with the Book of Revelations, at least, I will have... If I hold on to it, I will have all four possible chances to be able to get a, um... A, a ball, a cube of meat, um, a horseman, I mean, so I'll at least have be able to get the right the right boss fights, but <laughs> it's just a matter of whether or not I'll actually get the, the cube of meat or the ball advantage. That does make that getting that a lot more difficult. I wish that you could just get four of those, I'd basically just kill four, four of, all four of the horsemen to be able to get that achievement, but oh, I'd have to make it so difficult. What is this champion form going to do? It looks like the champion form that explodes into projectiles, but I don't think he does that. I don't think he shoots projectiles either. I think that's the green one. So I'm actually not sure what he's going to do. It's definitely bigger. He seems to have more health. But he might just not do anything. I don't think he poops either. Doesn't poop at all. Come on, come on. He's got to break eventually. Alright, there we go. Okay. I'm going to drop the soul heart too. That's anything. Not that I can actually pick it up. <laughs> it helps us almost already maxed out, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm probably not even gonna bother with the boss rush. I'm ten minutes in and I haven't even beaten Caves 1 yet, so it's not looking so good. Oh, I really need keys so I can go to the shop so that I could possibly get options, but of course, with hard mode, uh, keys are basically non-existent, because hard mode greatly decreases your chances of, excuse me, of, um, it greatly decreases your chances of finding uh, items after after um, completing a room, so you very often actually do oh, I, should, I didn't even use the book of revelations yet. God damn it! Well, I'll have to use the next floor then. So you very very often do actually have to leave uh, leave treasure rooms behind, unfortunately. Just quite a shame indeed, but just quite a just quite a hard mode, I suppose. Get to get the oh, it's a little too risky. All right, that's fine. We'll save the book of revelations for the next floor. Ah, uh, the screw, okay. Fuse and shuts me up, alright. That's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like I really need to go through extra rooms until I, um, until I get some keys. At least one key. I just, oh, I need keys. It's so hard to come by. Might have to use a bomb on that, uh, that rock there just for a chance of having a key in that chest. That's, that's probably going to be my best choice here. Hard mode is kind of where the D6 is also really useful because um, since you're not always going to be able to get your tr all your treasure rooms, you can use that to make sure that when you do get a treasure room, uh, you can you're likely to be able to uh, to get a better item. Uh, yeah, up here, uh, I might bomb some of those skulls, but I don't know. Yeah, this is the one that shoots things at me. And has considerably less health, so I guess. Oh, goddamn it! I guess the blue one just has uh, more health, I suppose. You're kind of falling off the edge. Are you doing all right? Uh, no, because you're, you're dead, so that's good. I know it's dangerous. I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> oh, what is this? Is it worth it? Oh, okay. I consider that to be pretty much worth it. Sweet. Nope. Stop. Stop. Okay, he's... If he... I, I found out actually that the gold, the gold ones there uh, are the orange champion forms. They... When you take damage, they cause you to drop coins, maybe lose coins, I'm not sure. One of the two, or maybe both. And when you kill them, they also have a chance of dropping money. It's just that uh, all the time. <gasps> Since in hard mode, I believe there are more champion f there are more champion enemies, but they're also less likely to actually drop anything, so it's kind of lame. But oh, I could, uh, spend some time here. I, I, sometimes I forget that I actually have Thunder Thighs. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> just kind of... Uh, just passes through my mind. Oh, yes, a key! Pick up pills, hopefully those are good pills. We have it here, maybe a uh, teleport chest? Nope, bombs aren't. 
Got those guys taken care of, please. Alright, I got a key, so I'm happy. Now I can go to the treasure room. Or maybe the shop. If I get enough money, I would want to, I'll want to go to the shop, actually, I think. Because uh, I really need more options. If I if I wanna if I wanna seriously get um get the the, the meat boy achievement, I'm gonna I'm gonna need more options. Oh, God damn it, that's that stupid. Right. Balls of steel and what is that? Four eight hour energy? Oh man. Uh hmm. I'll use the balls of steel now. And then I'll take forty eight hour energy with me. There we go. Twelve coins. A bunch of places where the secret room might be and only two bombs. I'm probably not going to bother trying for that, to be honest. Doesn't seem like it would be worth it, because it's very likely that I could check both spots and still not find it. I really gotta, really gotta use your resources wisely in hard mode. I'm so used to just having like an abundance of most of these, uh, these things, especially money. But not so much the case in hard mode, that's for sure. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, I hate you a lot. Stop. Don't. Excuse me. Stop. This out. No. Damn it. Going so quickly. All right. Ah, uh, shop, shop or treasure room. You know what? I'm gonna donate to this guy, and I'm just gonna go to the treasure room. There you go. There's my decision. Please give me something. Please. You're already making me mad. All right. All right. All right. I'll take. I'll take the blue map. The secret room actually is there. It's so strange. Uh. Yeah. That's good. I, I like the blue map. Some bombs, alright. I can live with more bombs. Crush up these rocks. Probably take damage on this mushroom over here. Oh, surprisingly not. Okay. Those extra bombs, I'll definitely go and check out the secret room as well. Oh, that's right, I don't have to bomb it because I can just use thunder thighs. <laughs> Always forget. I'm going to see what's in here before I, uh... Before I go figure out, or before I choose where to use my key, although I don't think most things, anything that could be in here can really change that decision too much. No, not at all. Uh, I'm going to be back for that, though, because I have a 48 hour energy, and a book rev, and a sacrifice room, so I'm going to use this a few times, actually. So, take a hit. Book rev. Take a hit. Get a chest, alright. Uh, do I want to... Oh, I should have used that to try and, uh, do the skulls. Wait, I can just walk over the skulls, right? Oh, why do I keep forgetting that? <laughs> that's, I didn't get anything, but that's alright. Uh, let's see, how is 48 hour energy gonna treat me? One battery, okay. Uh... Yeah, that'll do. Okay, and then I'll go pick up the, uh, black card over here. Or, oh wait, okay. I'll use it one more time and then I'll then I'll move on. Okay. Just <clears throat> trying to maximize the stuff that I can get here. All right, uh, with one key, nine bombs. I think I've pretty much explored every every other room here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go to the uh, I'll go to the treasure room because even if I did have enough money to go to the shop to buy something, enough, just the chances of that actually being there are not very likely. What is that? Um. Oh, Mom's eyeshadow. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I've gotten that yet, actually. I did not recognize it at all. Okay, so now some of your tears will... At least I think it's just some... Yeah, there we go. Pick ones. Now those will... Or at least have a chance to charm enemies. Which will actually cause them to fight for you. They will still damage you. Keep in mind. But they will not focus on you. They're gonna... They're focused on attacking other enemies. So that's cool. I've actually been... Quite waiting for something that does that. So that's neat. Oh, Curse of the Maze. Alright, that's not too terrible, I guess. There we have some tumors. Ooh. Oh. So yeah, they still can damage you and they still will damage you if you, like, touch them, if they do contact damage or projectiles or whatever. But they just have the, the added ability to damage other enemies as well. Hopefully I got a key right away here. That's very good. Another battery, alright. I guess I'll go ahead and use that now, yeah. Okay, now I'll get a horseman this floor. Uh, I'll pick that up, sure, why not? Probably shouldn't have, but I did it anyway, so... This this early on, and with this much health, I'm not super worried about my health situation at the moment. So, watch out. Oh, oh no, that's too... I got charged out of the way. That, uh... That, I can see, is rather... Or the charger seems rather concerned. 
Yeah, it kind of causes enemies to act very strangely, but it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a good, good item. Oh, oh. Good, good item. Now they're charmed. Yeah, see? Like, wait, those guys do contact damage? I didn't even know that. Maybe it's just because they were charmed and they did contact damage, because I didn't think they did that normally. Yeah, the, um, the, the, the first flies there, or whatever they're called, they ran into to each other when some of them were charmed and they killed most of them, except the big one there, probably because he had the most health. So, the yeah, charm tiers are, thank you, thank you, meet you. The charm tiers are very fun. And I think, I think the projectiles also can do damage to other guys. It's very neat. Watch that little, uh, little dip. Is he gonna... Nope, he just doesn't feel like fighting. They don't really move around in any particular fashion, so... Oh, yep, see, I think... I think he just did damage to another one there. It's cool. I like it. It seems like maybe since Charm Tears are so rare... Uh, yeah, it does seem like the Charm Tier will always charm. Whereas, like, for certain ones, like, uh... Uh, what am I trying to think of? Maybe Concussive Tier? No, I think Concussive Tier is also always proc. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Boss room already. Probably go ahead and do that. Uh, I'd really like to see if there's more options in the shop. Oh, yep, see, he's actually targeting the other guy, too. Thank you. That's very cool. That might... I think that does work on bosses, too. But, yeah, if I get, uh... If I get the bandage ball... Ball bandages from the, the horseman, then it's gonna be over, so... That's... Yeah, that's good. I'll take that. Shop. I'm gonna wait and see what I get. In hard mode, it, it's very. Unless you're going for the um, for the boss rush, it's very it seems to be very much so recommended that you actually go to every single room. Because uh, especially in this case, because I really need to ensure whether to to make sure. To what am I trying to say here? I need to see if I'll be able to go to the shop so that I can get more options so that I can be sure that I don't get a ball of bandage from, from this stupid horseman boss. Ooh, excuse me, thank you, ball or the freaking cube of meat's being a real pal here. If I get enough money Oh, there's an arcade too. Okay. Alright, I'm going to the arcade. That that makes everything here a lot better. So I should Ooh, it's fresh. Oh I picked up the eternal Oh man, I I'm the worst in this game. Alright. Well I guess I'm not using the blood donor machine then. I'm so bad at this. Why do I always do that? I usually don't pick it up if I don't have a lot of soul hearts, but if I do, I just pick it up regardless. I always forget this guy, damn it. Wait, it just opened this for free, though. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that... What is that? Oh, the cursed eye. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, actually, I remember... Yeah, this was, this is actually cool. I like this. Just... No, you can't actually just smash the button and just spam for... Oh, yeah, you pretty much can. Yeah, you can actually have a pretty high tier fire rate with this, even if you don't even bother to charge it up. Alright, that's cool. I probably will end up using the blood doing machine, but it's just gonna be really painful if I don't get a blood bag. Because, uh, that'll be an entire heart container that's effectively gone to waste. <sighs> I need to stop doing that. I really do. Get out of- get out of- god damn it. Alright. I'm already not entirely sure about the first tier shot. It seems cool in concept. And, I mean, it's neat. But it's. I'm not sure how this fold is in general. Alright, that's. that's good. Take that. Mostly for, um. I also can't see when it's charged up anymore. I swear I could for a bit there, but suddenly I can't, so that's unfortunate. I mean, it charges up pretty quickly, so I usually pretty much can tell. Oh well. Oh, this is the one that'll give me attack flies. Yep, there it goes. Oh, another key. Yes, okay. I'll probably go to both then. Have I gone to the regular secret room? I'm guessing I have, yeah, okay. Oh, there's a chest there that's very tempting. Might give me a key. I still don't even have enough money for the shop, so... I might want to do that anyway. Or I might want to uh, get the chest there. And hope that I get money and another key. Even if I just get the... Oh, there we go, okay. I'm definitely doing that. But even if I just get the money, I, can, I still have a spare key, so I'll probably go to the shop anyway. Uh, but now I have multiple, so... Oh, no, why did I focus on the fires? These guys are considerably bigger threat, because I hate them a lot. Get out of here. There we go, okay. These guys aren't too bad. They generally run away, except for when they very rarely seem to, like, charge at you like that. Did I just teleport? 
What item do I have that would cause me to teleport and take damage? It's a curse. I hope it's not a curse. I actually really hate stuff that does that. Alright, now I gotta go back and clear that room again. God damn it. Why did that happen? Is it. Was that like. I don't think a champion form does that. Oh, oh man, he's getting real close. Why is that happening? Why? Why am I teleporting when I take damage? That's the most annoying thing ever. Ah, this run's slowly descending into complete nonsense. I'm gonna clean this room, so I don't care how long it takes. I, I'm gonna keep doing it. I just want someone to explain to me why I'm teleporting whenever I take damage now, because that's he's one of my least favorite mechanics of anything. That's why I really hate the Cursed Skull. I don't have a curse skull, I don't have any trinkets, I don't recall picking up any items that would cause that, so I just really don't understand why it's doing it. Alright. I just need to be careful. Hopefully not hit that guy with a, with a charm tier, because he just kind of goes apeshit. There we go. <sighs> That's annoying. Give me a key. Alright, I, I feel really... Yeah, there's hearts lying all over the place. I really feel compelled to, uh... Use that blood donor machine. I'll probably use it down to uh, when I have just like a full heart container, and then, or even just half heart, and then I'll go and check out the thing there. <laughs> Hurts to see that. But it'll probably pay off in the end. It already did. Okay. Oh no, I have 15 coins exactly. All right, shop time. Thankfully, I got. Oh, that's right. I already got into the, the treasure room too, so I'm actually gonna be able to take a key with me. It's for some reason that. Oh yeah, that's when I. Uh, went into the arcade, and then it, I left on from the other side. That's that's the one thing I like about the the Curse of the Maze, is that you can kind of, uh... Cause I, like, I think if I do this enough, eventually it has a chance of teleporting me into the shop room, and I won't even have to use a key. Oh, yeah, there they go. <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, the regular map. Mm, I don't know if that's worth it. I don't think it is. Uh, blue heart isn't even worth it. Take that. Range up, alright. I'll take a range up. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good range. Okay. Mm, I guess that'll do. Alright. Save these coins for the next shop, I suppose. Uh, I could do some gambling in the arcade. I think I'll pass on that. We got for a boss. Choke. Okay. Wait, no, I didn't get a horseman. Well, I guess that's... Fuck them. Alright, whatever. That, that's... I'm not expecting that to be an achievement I actually am able to get at any point, so... I mean, I'll have to get it eventually, but I'm gonna have to cheese the system really bad. I read one thing where you just keep, um... You start with Isaac with... Well, now I'm in here, I guess, but I don't know why I'm teleporting whenever I take damage, because that's one of... Did I get freaking blue chub again? What is happening here? Oh, this run is breaking already. I'm, I already feel the rage quit coming because I'm teleporting every time I take damage. I already feel it. I feel it in the future. Very close in the future. It's just some of these black balls. I don't even want to know. Oh, it's just coils, I think. It's black for some reason. Let's speed up. Alright, that's useful because I'm pretty goddamn slow because of uh, Thunder Thighs. Unfortunately, the charm doesn't seem to entirely work on bosses because they do still actively attack you, but it's to be expected, really. You didn't want to make it too broken. Oop. That pouch. How did that not kill it? Ooh. He's even charmed. I don't know why he's not attacking the um the boils. Whatever. I really want to know why I'm teleporting and taking damage. Because I hate that so much. So I can go ahead and use that here. Probably won't replace the boss with uh, the horseman, but I have a soul heart. Or give me a soul heart at least. And it's champion people. What is this? Oh, he leaves creep when he walks. Yeah, I don't think regular peep does that. But, uh, it's not a huge deal, really. This does take quite a while, though. There's the eye. Okay, then. I'd really like to see a, um, a charm and fear combo. God damn it. I didn't, I didn't, at least I didn't teleport, so that's, that's fine with me. Just really don't want to teleport. Nope. Stop. Still don't. Oh, 
I still can't afford to be taking too much damage, because this is still hard mode, so... It's still gonna be difficult. Come on. Come on. Nope. Stop. Stop! Why? Damn it. Ugh. This isn't going so well, guys. I don't know what happened. It was going well. And then I just started ballsing everything up. Wait, if I blow him up, I might get money. Give me money. Give me... What a jerk. Oh, dear, you're not giving me my money. Alright. Let's try the boss again, and hopefully I won't teleport out. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to blow up the arcade machines, because I'll probably get more money and maybe bombs or keys or something. I just don't want to actually use them. Alright, there's a key. There's a... Well, that doesn't affect me that much, thankfully, because this floor is full of hearts. Now, at least now I have that pill identified. It can be... It's, it's just a weird pill. So it, it seems to drain your red hearts down to you having one, and then drops a random amount of hearts on the floor. So if you have, like... If you have, like, four or less heart containers, it could potentially give you more hearts, but more likely than not, it's not going to do that. It's, it's strange. I need to look up exactly how it works, but... And yeah, of course, it's still chub, got new. I was really hoping that it would actually replace it with a horseman, because I think that is possible. But, and I could have swore the Book of Revelation was now a guaranteed uh, horseman, I thought, but evidently that's not the case. Okay, so the charmed, charmed enemies do actively chase after enemies unless there are none, and then they're just going to chase after you. They're going to go after you normally. So, like, right now he's, he's going for the guy there, but now that he killed him, he's just going to go for me. So that's, that's still pretty useful. Come on now. <clears throat> really don't know why I was teleporting, but hopefully it just stops, because I don't have any items that would cause that. The only one that might is this, this cursed cursed eye charge thing, but I don't think they would make an item that gives you this um this charge up and makes you teleport, because it's just weird and would be really annoying. Nope, get away from me. Charm, charm. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Make your boil. Okay, it's a close spin, evil range, and shot speed up. Oh, man, look at that. Yes, oh, Lord of the Pit. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving Lord of the Pit behind. I can never pass up on flight. Uh, what does that give me access to? Not a whole lot, actually, on this particular floor. Alright. So, the I'm putting the Meat Boys out the window. But, uh, that's the thing, it's not like the... Revelations is worthless beside that because it's actually so incredibly useful. So this this room is so cool. I hate it so much. Although thankfully I can at least avoid most of them just because I can fly. But right, use this jerk. Oh, that's good though. <laughs> uh, cursed tears are great. Uh, maybe I should take out these guys before I go for them. Yep, there we go. He's going after him. Look at that. It's like a nice game of snake. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. God, I'm starting to like charm tears a little bit more every time they uh, they get used. I want to I charm an enemy that shoots projectiles and see if they actually shoot projectiles at enemies. I believe they do. Which is really neat. Oh, what happens if you charm one of them? Let's maybe see if I can do that. There we go. Oh, it charms the whole thing. Okay, so it doesn't actually do a whole lot. Oh, but they do start attacking each other though when they split up. Okay. That's handy. That's very handy. Uh, that's probably not going to be worth it because I really need to conserve the keys. Oh, oh, this room is cruel and unusual. Are there four champions in this one room? Pretty sure there are. Yep, that's hard mode for you. Attack. There you go. Oh, oh maybe those projectiles don't, uh, don't hurt them. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh, that's just a regular projectile. Okay, I thought that was an exploding one. Four champions and all I got was one key. Excellent. Uh, oh, that's right, I don't even have to, uh... I don't know if that's worth the risk, though. I'm gonna do it anyway, but I'm probably gonna take some damage. Yep, there you go. Well, I got a soul heart, so I got all the damage that I took back. Lemon party, alright. Pretty fly, that's good. And balls of steel, alright. That was very much so worth it. Okay, great. Excellent. Fires. This run's going pretty decent so far, actually. Even despite having left the D6 behind and not being able to... I don't, I don't really don't know why I didn't get a horseman, but... Oh. 
Only thing is now I'm kind of regretting picking up uh, Thunder Thighs. While it was useful at the time, Thunder Thighs and Flight is a really uh, redundant and kind of ridiculous combo, actually. <laughs> not uh, not a very useful thing, because one of the best parts about Flight, I think, is that it gives you... No, I'm stupid. It gives you an added uh, added coverage and added leverage against most enemies. Most, like, bosses and stuff. That was really worth it. Uh, since you can, like, you know, fly over to rocks, they might not necessarily be able to get to you behind. But with Thunder Thighs, you completely just destroy all the rocks that you fly over. So it's not... <laughs> It's not useful at all. And then if you accidentally fly over a, um, like a, a bomb rock or something, forgetting that you still have thunder thighs, then it's going to explode and you're going to take damage. So. I mean, it doesn't, it's not like it has any, like weird synergy that you don't expect. It's just that their effects are most, flying mo largely cancels out all the positives to, um, to thunder thighs. Except for stuff like being able to check for, uh, treasure rooms and be able to break like skulls and blue rocks and stuff for free but for the most part flying is is overall preferable in pretty much every way and having both at the same time is kind of pointless but still i'd rather have both than not than just thunder thighs so <laughs> that's fine with me all right where the hell are we going here i don't even know up here i don't think i've been nope some bonies all right next rock there there we go. So I'm managing to keep my health pretty high up there for the majority of these floors. Which is very handy. Come on, I need a trapdoor. There's a host, there's a blue, or a black heart, I mean, what do we got here? Two hearts. That's garbage to me. I'll be back for that black heart, I'm sure, momentarily. Oh, oh, I'm not going to go back through there if I can avoid it. Uh, looks like I can't avoid it. Okay, then. Uh... I'm not going to want to come back here, so I'm just going to pick up the black card now. Whatever. I'm not going to want to come back through here. Oof, there we go. Hopefully my speed's high enough that I can pretty much just go through those room, room pretty easily. How did he shoot sideways? Oh, because he's trying to right, so he's actually trying to shoot the laser at the, the other guys. That's, that's good. I not like charm. Okay. Some of these losers. Too much of a threat. <laughs> I love. I really love how there are just some enemies that, when, um, enemies that they can't reach you at all when you're flying, they just stop moving. It's one of my favorite things that, that enemies do in this game. One of my favorite little uh, uh, programming things that, that they put in the game just for fun. I don't even know if it was just for fun. Honestly, I wonder, almost wonder if that was just some sort of like side effect. Like, since they can't reach reach you, they don't. Their AI doesn't know what to do, so they just kind of, you know, do whatever. Or they just kind of like breaks it or something, I don't even know. Nope. 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 Do I want to use the book revelations just to try to get out of horseman? I really don't care about the horseman at this point, so. Although having the, um, I mean, at least the level 2 meat boy would certainly be useful. Oh, what is this one? Destruction. Eh. It's not very useful. I can destroy everything. I can fly and I have thunder thighs, so I can destroy anything I want to whenever I want to, so. Uh, yeah, might as well use it. All right, that's fair. It's actually really useful here because I wouldn't know where the secret rooms are otherwise. So I'll definitely, uh, definitely accept that graciously. Oh, get away! Try to blow these bats up. Bam! There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I think when uh, when those bomb flies are charmed, also they have oh, that was stupid. They have a um, a pheromones-looking explosion, or maybe they just do that sometimes anyway. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's temperance. Okay. I'll probably just take that with me. That's our Necropolis one, right? I'll use... I don't know if I'm going to want to try to find my way back here after a boss, so I'll just take this with me. That's fine. Unless this is better. Two spades. Uh, probably shouldn't have used that yet, but there we go. Six keys. That's that's pretty good. Oh, oh, uh, stop! You're the worst. Get out of my face. Thank you. I got up so hard anyway, so it's fine. I think that might... I don't know if that was from the skull or if it was from Gimpy. Uh, I do have Gimpy in this run, don't I? Yeah, okay. Because this run's already been just like extremely long. No, well, not quite. That's fine. Oh, the oh, I'm getting so many hearts. <sighs> hmm. I don't know if I could pass up the. Oh, I don't even know. I I don't think I could pass up the blank card a second time. I really don't. 
I don't know if I want to risk the entire run on the blank card, though, but... I mean, already I could have infinite temperance machines, infinite, uh... I could basically have, like, a... Like a Book of Belial sort of thing every six rooms, or whatever strength mimics, I'm not exactly sure which item. Um... so tempting. I'm gonna go for the boss first and see what happens then. Oh, I got a horseman anyway. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright. That works for, That works well enough for me. My damage is not ideal against this guy. Yeah, I'm definitely wishing that I'd gotten the strength card, but that's okay. That's fine. I'll just be here a little while. He's not particularly threatening otherwise, so... Well, that's kind of annoying, though. Coming from the left side, I think. Yep. He always comes in from the side that you are the opposite from, which is nice. Nice, uh, kind thing for them to do there. That's his last go, yep. It's charming him also doesn't do anything, because he doesn't summon anything. I don't think any of his forms, any of his champion forms, or any of his, uh, stages ever summons anything, so... Ooh! Movement pattern's so strange. It's also very fast, I, our speeds are, like, matched, so I really need to watch out here. His eyes whenever he falls down. <laughs> Boss. Alright, here we go. The cube meet excellent, so now, I'm, now we can always be firing. So I guess this is gonna be useful, I guess. <sighs> it's just not. It's just not worth it. <laughs> it really isn't. This is what? Evil up. So, increased chance of getting. <laughs> I mean, I guess I might as well, but. Like, in general, that's. Although, yeah, I guess it did turn more of my soul hearts into black hearts, so, yeah, whatever. Alright, Book of Revelations, had a good run. I can't keep passing a blank card. <laughs> oh, it's only, it's only four rooms? Oh, that's so ridiculous. Oh, man. Do I wanna, yeah, I'm just gonna donate the rest. It might be on unlock 250, but I'm pretty sure there is one at 300 at least. I'm just one penny away. It hurts. Alright, some temperance, strength. Uh, do you know what? I'm actually gonna... Let's try it. Yep, there's the blank card. Use, gave the temperance. Temperance is effective. Oh, yeah, I also so hard. This is basically just, like, infinite everything. This is absolutely beautiful. I can just keep using this, of course, because I have, uh, black hearts and soul hearts lying all over this floor. Just gonna keep going here. At least a couple more times, I think. I have Gimpy repeatedly giving me more hearts as well. This is just excellent. I think I, yeah, because of Gimpy, I think I might even just take take Temperance with me. Uh, what is this one? I think it's just another Strength card, yeah. We're good against the boss, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, some hearts lying around. Oh yeah, I should have seen it, I should have tested if it works with, uh, the runes, but that's alright. Uh, yeah, I'm back to the bottom, flying around a whole bunch. I would like a Blood Bag, have I gotten a Blood Bag yet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I'm pretty sure you can get more than one Blood Bag, though. I know you could in the original. I'm guessing they didn't change that, but I'm actually not, definitely not entirely sure of that. So let's see, I can use it for at least one more soul heart's worth. Okay. That will do, I think. Grab all these guys. And there we go. Alright, so I got a bunch of money out of that, and then I can donate. Oop, nope, nothing to 250. Alright, that's fine. Let's donate some more. I could actually use this more time since there's a soul heart for sale. There we go. And I'll buy that. Buy that. Buy that. And then I have five coins left for the uh, the arcade in the next floor. Perfect. Alright, get out of here. Some money, maybe. Alright, that works too. Alright, let's pull this popsicle stand. Oh, there's a heart there. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, right, ceremonial, ceremonial uh, robes or whatever was in there. Okay, this was probably... Oh, this is already looking to be my, one of my longest runs yet, so... <laughs> you guys are ready, because I'm already like 35 minutes in and I'm not even at, uh, at the womb yet. Uh, I guess that's not too terribly long, though, since I'm not going in, I can't go to Chapter 6 yet. Although, if there was ever a run where I'd be able to go to Chapter 6, it would be this one. Uh, since I do have Thunder Thighs. So I will be able to check every single rock in the entire Chapter 5 area. So I would have the maximum, the maximum amount of chance to find that. So, eh, maybe. This might this might be the run where I finally get to go to the, uh... uh 
Yeah, no thanks. Although, yeah, there are um, there are batteries in that room though, so I could just <laughs> I could just make a whole bunch of blood doning machines. I'm going to save those for maybe if I get a better card though. Oh, something like the chaos card. I would really be amazed if I actually got that. That's it's such a rare card because it's so overpowered. Inst oh, insta kill to anything that it touches on its flight path. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And then if you get that with... I'm pretty sure that the um, that the blank card works with those cards. I'm really hoping at least. I don't know if I've actually looked that up. But oh, I'm going to be so hurt if it doesn't. Because <laughs> I mean, even if not, the, the blank card is still really good. Because there's still a lot of really good... Uh, like, if you got the Hierophant card, then, you know, that's effectively, like, more than doubly... Effect, as effective as the Book of Revelations. And you get two soul hearts every four rooms. And that's just insane. I don't even know how to how to react to that. Push my soul hearts, alright. Let's see what we got in here. Alright then. Guess it's donation time. Please don't break really soon. Oh thank you. You've already this has already been well worth it. All right, that was that was a pretty pretty solid donation amount, I'd say. I'm happy with that, and I still have ridiculous amounts of money too. Beautiful. Okay, 35 coins. That's going pretty well. Five keys. This this run's looking pretty solid so far. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. I wasn't able to get the the meat boy thing, but that's fine. Excuse me. That's just fine. I should definitely be able to. I'll probably go to the shoal and unlock the dark room already, so I'll be able to do that as well. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good indeed. You have your oh, it's Grim Spiders. Hey, please. Oh, stay away. Stay away. There we go. Okay. Now uh, let's get uh, let's get a Temperance in here. Okay. Some hearts lying around in case I really need money to, if I want to use that more. Probably not. Yeah, whatever. I'm feeling whimsical. Okay. Certainly wasn't worth it, but could have been. <laughs> I figured I might as well just go for it. That's super... That's super hard. I do like this uh, this curse shot, though. I really want to know the synergies between all of the, the charge shot type items. You have uh, Brimstone, Chocolate Milk, uh, Cursed Eye Shot, and Monster's Lung. I'd, I'd like to know what happens if you com if you combine some of those. I think Chocolate Milk and Brimstone is actually a really good one, because I think you get... It takes you longer to charge up, I think, but it does... Your damage is actually pretty pretty ridiculous, but I'd like to know what happens if you got, say, like, the curse shot in Monstro's Lung. I'd like to know if it, like, quadruples how much you shoot out or something ridiculous like that. I'd like to know. Alright, come on. I want to get this over. His heart's lying all over the place, so I'm not super worried. This is, uh, good practice, because I know this is something a lot of the pros do, so I gotta, I gotta start getting good at that. <coughs> what do we got? Nothing. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Just fine. Heart's lying around all over the place, so... Nice simple room. And just, you guys are just in the corners. Super easy to deal with there. Oh. Super easy. Yeah, where is the shop? I'm very anxious to see what they have in the shop. I'll certainly be able to afford anything they might have. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Nope. I don't like it. Get out of here. You could explode in my face or something. Blow him up. Blow up. I. God. God. Get out of here. This. Are you. There we go. Well, okay, so ponies. So now they're X rocks, right? X rock right there. As if I need more soul hearts. Okay. Yeah, Isaac is definitely the, the way to play when you want to when you want a pretty a pretty easy hard mode run. That's for sure. Unfortunately, I'm not even close to being able to get the boss rush, but that's something I'll I'll have to try for when uh, super easy at least uh, when I. I'm not also for some reason trying to unlock the um the meat boy achievement, but that's fine. The book of revelations has done me well, so it did me well. Oh I still had it. You've got the joy more. Oh, that's fine, because the blank card is wonderful. Finally get to use it. Just hoping I'll be able to get a better uh better card or something. It'd go really well with the uh the starter deck too, of course. Okay, now I can try this. Oh wait, what is this other card? Oh the hermit. Use that to get uh, permanent free access to the shop. I mean, not you know, ignoring the fact that it's the last place of the shop. Yeah, never mind. All right, let's try it. Oh man, the blank card also imitates runes. 
What is happening here? <laughs> I can't believe I actually just got the hero fin card. Alright. This run's basically over, guys. It, it was fun while it lasted, but... There's really... There's really no... I don't even know if it's possible. Because now I have, now have, like... I effectively have a combo that's more than twice as good as the as the Book of Revelations, and that's ridiculous. And Pyromani or Pyro? Oh my goodness. This is... This is really incredible. There's BFF. What does that increase the size of your uh, things? Does that increase the size of familiars too? Let's see. Or orbitals? Yes, it does. Oh, look at those massive orbitals. This... This is... Incredible. This is truly incredible. I'll buy that just for fun. Um... Use that, I guess. Might as well, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because I'm not. Really, I don't really care. I'm. This run is is basically over, so I don't even need to bother anymore. <laughs> now I have two two spirit hearts every five or every four rooms. This is why blank card is amazing. I don't know if if the blank card is something that like a lot of people. I I don't I don't hear a lot about the blank card, like you know. I've never seen it in uh, in any like live streams I've seen of the game, but it's, it's like my favorite item. It's quickly becoming my favorite item in the entire game. It's so great. Just even just for this one reason alone. But also, since it work it works with runes, I'm pretty sure that it also works with with all the specialty cards. So that means you could potentially have it so that you have uh, free shop every time. Everything in the shop will be free. Uh, Unlimited usage, or virtually unlimited usage of a an instant instant kill to every to everything in the game card. It's just infinite, like boom, you just fill the room with boom, whatever you wanted to. It's just, and then I get cancer, and then I get cancer. I can't even. Well, actually, to be honest, that doesn't really do a whole lot here, but oh, that's just great. I have infin infinite usage of justice. Let's speed up, I don't like that. Uh, no, I gotta keep the hero fin, but Justice is cool too, though. Justice would be good for if I need, like, a really well-balanced one. My hearts look like some sort of flag right now. <laughs> Got blue in the upper left, black in the lower left, and then... Red in the upper left, oh, whatever, I can't see colors. <laughs> also, that sound right there... That's why I live. That's why I stay alive, is that sound. It's so beautiful. That's my favorite thing is when I have a thunder thigh type item when I get to the get to the womb I'm so happy because I get to listen to that sound. <laughs> it's oh god damn it, curse of the maze. It's so great. Yeah, we're up just some of these guys. Alright, that's easy. Oh, oh, never mind. There's six. That's really not that bad though. Excuse me. And two of them aren't even aren't, aren't even gazing ones. So three of them even aren't. It's just so beautiful. I love that sound so much. It's absolutely phenomenal. You can't hate that sound. You really can't. It's just great. Oh, mercy me. Okay. Moving on. Alright, that's that's something. Probably use that momentarily just so I have a ridiculous amount of uh, hearts just lying around, because why the hell not? Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to take the... I don't... I don't have words. No words can describe the sheer stupidity that I possess. I really can't believe I just did that. I can't believe it. Now I'm mad. <laughs> I'm real mad now. Not that I'm, like, at all concerned about this run. But I mean, that was just gonna be, like, the... That was just gonna be the, the icing on this total domination cake, and it's... I'm really sad now. <laughs> I'm real displeased at how that went. Oh, God damn it. Right, whatever, maybe I'll get some other cool card. Probably not, but... No, whatever. I just I just want a card. That's all I want. I'll take any card you want to give me. Particularly something entertaining, but... Any card will do, really. I'm certainly going in there. That could be... I could have cards in there, actually. I think the, um... Yeah, the, the black chests have a decent chance of giving a couple, couple tarot cards. Come on, come on. Get out of here. There you go. Uh, okay, sure. Might as well, really. No sense leaving them behind. Okay, then. It's a room full of shit. Alright, that's cool. More like that room. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. 
gonna make sure that I'm very careful when I crush those uh, the, the special rocks in this floor because they can uh, shoot out projectiles that will probably instantly damage me. So necessarily want to want to want to fly over those. That might not uh, might not be the wisest thing to do. This room is just rude, honestly. Get out of here. Oh nope, that's right. You can kill the champions. Was that a uh, a holy leech also? Green creep holy leech. That's rude. it's like a champion of a champion at this point. That's just it's unkind. Fish, I'm not even gonna bother. I have 99 bombs. I'm just gonna start bombing my way out of rooms at this point. Oh, that's a neat little shortcut, I guess. Where's oh, there's just a blue heart lying in a room. Where? What? What is happening here? Oh, it's over here. Okay. There we go. Oh, curse of the maze. What? What a strange curse you are. Right. Take care of these guys a bit. Is that one? Is that one? I think that's it. Nope. Apparently not. Where's? Oh, right. I didn't kill all those guys. I'm smart. Oh, it's he's blast assist. Um. Yeah. Whatever. Nope. That's not. Oh, put up anyway. Okay. Excuse me. Pardon me. Slip through here. Okay. There's a couple pins. Only two. Yep. Alright, uh, I'll just do this, because I have one of them fighting for me now, so... It doesn't seem to be very good at actually hitting, them, hitting each other, but that's okay. Easy boss, anyway. I see we're back to that. Is that Curse of the Maze? Is that what's doing that? I'm starting to think it's Curse of the Maze, and that's incredibly rude, and I don't appreciate it in the slightest. I don't know why I went in here. I really don't. <laughs> why Curse of the Maze? Why? It, that's gotta be... the because I remember the only other time I was doing this is on Curse of the Maze. I never noticed it doing that before. Is that a hard mode thing? That's really annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to take care of this room, because I feel as though I'm going to have to come through here anyway. I'm afraid it's not that difficult. Especially if I just go over here, but I'm having a really hard time killing them. There we go. Ah, scratchy nose. Come on, come on. Yeah, for seven minutes in. This is definitely going to be the longest video I've had up in this, in this series in a long time, that's for sure. At the very least, if not the longest. Uh, depends on how long. I'm only on womb run one, right? Yeah, yeah. This very well could be the longest. I'll have to see how it uh, and how it how it plays out in the later couple floors. I didn't give anything. That's fine. All right. I don't really care about you, Pen. You take too much of my time. I could easily just stay here and, and kill you off, but I don't really care that much. It's Fred. Hey, Fred. Excuse me, Fred. I need to be rude. Get out of my face, Fred. Is that a pretty fly pearl, or is that in a previous run? Excuse me. Oh, don't speak. No, oh, it's a bad trick. God damn it. I swear, I'm gonna lose this run because I was really stupid with that card. I'm, I'm still really, real salty about that. I'm not used to trying to. I'm not used to having to use my use item to use the card. Oh yes, yes. Give me a card. Give me a card. Please. You need to give me a card. Alright, soul hearts are good too. Missing page? Uh, okay. No thanks. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <coughs> I had to help my mom bring some stuff in. Alright, where the hell am I right now? Oh yeah. Please give me a card. Card. Come on, I really need a card here. Please. Yeah, it certainly was worthless, you're telling me. <sighs> this is the worst worst fortune telling machine I've ever seen. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's actually very good at telling fortunes, but that's just not what I wanted you for. That's not what I pay you for. Ah, uh, it's daddy long legs. It's pretty easy, I suppose. Oh, that was stupid. Got too close. There's that. Okay. That's pretty easy. The, um... God damn it. I realized something about the, um, the alternate form of him, the, the triacnid. He's actually, I think, the only one of the um, the bosses that are like remakes of current bosses that are very similar to the originals, but they um, they're slightly different, and they kind of have. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of grind for some stuff here, but um, like how Gish, of course, is a different form of Monstro, and he has his own like custom drop <laughs> attacking each other. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and then you have like. Uh, but you have Steven replacing Gemini, who actually has two of his own custom drops. But the Triacnid? Triacnid actually don't think has his own custom drop. Which I find strange. Very strange. Although I think probably has something to do with the fact that he was completely a, um, 
a Wrath of the Lamb boss. He wasn't in the original game at all. I don't. Th yeah, I'm yeah, of course not. There's no spider themed anything in the original game. I don't think. But yeah, I just find that strange. Because so that's something that they should uh, they should change. Because I'm pretty sure you unlock track in the same sort of way that you unlock the other ones. But I don't know. Actually, no. I think it is slightly different. But even still. Okay, so I guess I'm not gonna get to use that push time machine anymore unless I go up to that room up there and I'm lucky enough for it to give me some money. I don't think there's an arcade here. Uh, oh yeah, there's the... Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> there's that, uh... that challenge room with the... uh, with the red chest and with... Yeah, I remember skipping. I remember whatever was in here I'd skipped it previously, but I don't know why. It's really easy. It's super duper easy. And there we go. Well, actually, I still have to kill these losers, but they're easy enough. Alright, come on. Oh, a card, look at that. Ooh, the magician. You know, that's uh, actually decent. Alright. That was a nice little uh, nice little shortcut there. Thank you, Curse of the Maze. Yeah, that's decent. I could, uh, I could live with that. It's pretty good. Right, let's see what we get here. Alright, I can... That entire series of events was pretty, pretty okay with me. I still don't want Krampus's head. Was this was this the run where I got Krampus's head? I think. Oh, that was not okay. Uh, yeah, I definitely want lump coal. <laughs> I don't plan on leaving the blank card behind. That's for sure. So give me the lump coal, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. That's fine. Uh, it's it's such a fundamentally good item, but I really like the blank card better. And I can take that, and there we go. All right, almost up to full health. Not quite. I'm taking taking quite a bit of damage on this floor. But uh, I don't have any money, so I'm just gonna blow you up. Also, missing page. Uh, yeah, I really don't know if cancer does anything. No, it really doesn't. So I might as well take the missing page. I guess. What was this? That's oh, built. Ah, Forty-eight hour energy. Doesn't do me any good because I need this card to be able to make any use to this item at all. So <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Last floor. Okay, is a boss challenge room. Uh, looks like left is going to lead us to the secret room. That's an easy room because they can't even get me here, so... so that does mean that they're going to kind of come in and out quite frequently, I think. Uh, one of the suggestions for, for items in the... on the, the Reddit post where you can make suggestions for the for items to be added in the next... in the, the first Rebirth DLC. Uh, I think someone had a suggestion that kind of shows you the location of, like, invisible and burrowing enemies, which I think would be pretty useful. Uh, or at least kind of showing you where they're going to show up, even just like a second or, s or like a split second before it actually happens. I think that'd be pretty useful. All right, so when I want to use the, use the card, I need to use my use items so that I don't actually use the card. Which is really strange. <laughs> and like when I'm trying to do something, when I'm trying to do it fast, then it's it's easy to mess up. But I gotta make sure that I get it right. Ooh. I'm not gonna just waste the use of the item in you know, like a room like this. Of course, because there's really no reason to. Don't mind a trap door. I like how when they um, how when the the block they're rotating on is destroyed, they actually have a uh, an AI programmed so that they just uh, they like fly off in that in the direction they're moving into the nearest uh, the nearest wall and then or the nearest thing solid object and start rotating around that too. I don't like, quite like that. Money. That's good. I might donate to that. Uh, bigger there, but I'm going to hold on to it right now. Uh, other secret rooms over here, somewhere-ish. This charm, not that that does anything, although I, I wonder if that would make him attack. Oh, because he doesn't attack directly anyway, so I don't think that would actually alter his his behavior at all. He just kind of bounces around on a set uh, set pattern, pretty much, so. I think, oh, that would do anything. Thank you, Orbitals. Hardly even look any different when you're charmed. Get out of my face. Nope. Stop. I think they always rotate uh, counterclockwise, too, it seems like. So just obliterate these rocks. Oh, thank you, orbitals. <laughs> Once again. And these guys can't even reach me. And they're looking real sad down there. Look at those guys. A bunch of losers. <laughs> Get out of my face. Damn casuals. I left the. I accidentally left the recording on while I was. Uh, Helping with the, the groceries, so I don't currently have like an hour in the recording, but I know there actually is a fortune telling machine in this floor too. Oh my goodness! So I know some of that time isn't uh, 
It's not entirely accurate, but it's looking like this very well could could end up being the longest the longest run yet. Oh, those enemies look so similar. <laughs> so like they look basically the same. I don't know if their texture is different when they're in the womb because they do look more like those um more like the the digging worms than or the the ones that follow after you than they don't really do. I don't know. And I know they're um. Their dirt color is now red to match the womb, which, are, which is pretty cool. Nice little detail there. So it's very possible that they changed some more of the texture as well, other than just that part. I don't know, though. Uh, I think I'll just fight Mom now and then come back and explore those other rooms after the fight. I think, yeah, that sounds good. Alright, so use that. There we go. Alright, now I have home tears. I hate that so much. What is causing that? I don't understand. Black Bean, pretty sure it's not the Black Bean. Lord of the Pit, I don't think does it. Mom's Mascara, pretty sure it doesn't. Sir Mommy Robot is doing that before that. Gimpy doesn't do it. I really have no idea. It's the most, it's not Cursed Maze, so that debunks that theory as well. I hate it so much. I well, guess I'm gonna wait to do the Mom fight until the last second that it's possible to do it, because I. I don't want to have to do that. I hate random teleporting so much. That's why I don't understand trinkets like the cursed skull and the uh, the broken remote. Like who, who finds those useful? I really want to know. Are those useful at all? Are they fundamentally supposed to be bad? Because I mean, you can drop them on the ground with the ability to empty your pockets. So it's not really. It, there's no reason to have it in the game unless it's good. Or at least it's it can be good. I can't think of like any possible good usage for the, for the, some of those trinkets. Curse skull, maybe I could see that. But not the broken remote. Just every time you use a use item, it teleports you. But why? Who would do that? Who would who would think like you know that's something that I wish I could do? I wish I could teleport every single time I want to use my my use item. If you want to, oh, I just don't understand. Uh, it just gets me mad because I hate it, and I don't know why I'm teleporting. I might have to look that up afterwards, see if the cursed eye causes me to teleport, or or something. I have no idea. Uh, this is so hard. So that's good. Uh, I'm gonna donate to you first, and then I'll use what money I have left over to give to the um the the fortune teller machine. That's not something that I want at all. <laughs> I suppose I can go ahead and uh, utilize you a little bit here. Alright, not gonna do it too excessively, but I figure I might as well because there's hearts galore lying around here, so. What's that? Alright, I'll go again. I'm trying to get the timing right so that I can get two usages for one, but I don't want to risk it too much because I don't want to lose any soul hearts over this. What they got for me. Oh, that's percent useless. Most useless thing I could possibly think of right now, quite honestly. Flight. Absolutely. Wait, no, I shouldn't have picked that up. Then I could have uh, checked out the boss challenge room. Alright. I'm gonna do that then. Give it one more go, and then I'll fly back here and do the boss challenge room. <clears throat> Just to maximize my chances of winning. Fucking teleport every time I. I also really hate that. <laughs> come on. Come on. There's something here. Alright, whatever. Screw you two. A couple more hearts lying around, so I should be should be good enough. Okay, what do you got for me? No oh, thanks. Uh, you know, whatever. It def definitely wasn't worth it, but shouldn't be super not worth it either. Are there any batteries in the floor? No. Oh, nope, don't touch me. Don't want to take any damage in this in this stupid room that I decided to do at the last minute. Really would rather not. Oh, did I just get a half heart? Yeah, something dropped a half heart. Alright. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Don't know why, but whatever item causes it, I seem to get that item a lot. I think I discovered the the old bandage, I think, does it. Well, I guess that's enough of that. What's causing me to Oh, hearts. That's good. I guess I'm gonna go try to fight the boss, but it's just gonna repeatedly teleport me out. And we're gonna bother, uh, using the homing tears, because it's not even really all that useful, and it's just going to be wasted when I take damage, and then I have to go through and, you know, it's just going to waste waste the usage of it, so, I'm never going to bother. 
I mean, it's pretty easy to hit mom anyway, so. Okay. Just gotta try really hard to not take damage so that I don't teleport. Yes? What can I help you with? Actually, charming her does not do anything of value. Nope, nope. Oh, this is bad. That's bad. Really bad. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm not going to be able to beat this boss fight because I'm going to keep teleporting out and then it's going to keep completely resetting my entire progress while I slowly take more damage. And it's just complete garbage. And that's, 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 that's it. I don't... I'm going to lose this run and I'm going to have no idea why because I don't know what item is causing this to happen. Oh, it didn't teleport me that time. That's great. Thanks. Thanks a whole bunch. I don't have any actual progress made in this boss fight yet, though, so it doesn't really matter that it didn't teleport me. It might as well have, really. It just gets me so mad. I, I had this run. I I had it multiple times, actually, and it's just slowly been breaking more and more, and I don't know what for what reason. That's Polycephalus. He's pretty easy. I'm sure I'll still be taking damage against him, though. That's how I roll, pretty much. Thankfully, my orbitals are really good. I also have BFFs, so my orbitals are also massive. Don't get get out of my face. I'd be surprised if I actually even managed to beat this boss fight, which I've already done on hard mode as Isaac, so it's also not even going to give me any new unlocks just for doing that. So if I'm not able to beat uh, Satan or Isaac, then this entire run will have been completely pointless as far as I'm concerned, because I don't recall having unlocked anything. So why aren't I using bombs? I just realized... God damn it, Mom. Right. It's not worth risking it generally, risking getting getting that close to her, but I'm assuming the lasers are going to be coming soon. Right, I'll use, try to use it against these guys a little bit. No, nope. alright, that's fine. <sighs> this run was going so well. If I, it, it really is going to come down to the fact that I wasted the Hero Fink card that I failed this run ultimately, isn't it? It's already looking to be the case. Our bombs are not doing much damage at all, so do not bother. Assuming the lasers are going to be coming soon. It's really bad because I got these stupid lumps. Oh, the lumps are going up. Okay. There's the lasers. Please die. Please die. This run's basically... I'm, I'm going to go here because this boss fight's easier. But I'm not expecting to actually be able to beat any of either of these areas. So... I got Curse of the Blind. Well, that's not really that big a deal, actually. Yeah, never mind. No, no. Stop. This is at once. I'm leaving immediately. Worst kind of room. Absolute worst. Don't talk to me about that room. Oh, I also hate this room, though, to be fair, so... That's fine. At least they're attacking each other, though, which is very helpful. But they still need to die. Really don't like them. Okay, I'm surprised I didn't take any damage there, quite frankly. Ooh, what's this? Oh. My. God. I. Can't believe that just happened. No, don't. I can't lose this run now. I can insta-kill Satan. This can't happen. I. Granted, I can only insta-kill one phase of him, but. I could. Honestly, I could. Oh no. Oh no, that's. I've never seen that before. That's fine. I could fly. Yeah, they do cause darkness and make themselves invisible when they break free, and it's really annoying, actually. But, um... So I could I could beat the Fallen, or I could use the card against the Fallen, honestly, because that might even be more tricky than the actual Satan fight. Or I could use I could use the, the blank card against the, um... against the first Satan phase, and then I could use the, um, the actual blank card against the second part, because I'm... Either I'm definitely not going to be able to go to the, um... The dark room, or I don't think I would want to, because I certainly wouldn't be able to beat it. But oh, no! Great, it just teleported me to what is this—a double dark room or a dark, double dark one room? Yeah. Yeah. Can you say no thanks? Yeah, no thanks. Of course, once again, the fucking teleporting thing is going to completely screw me over. So I'm not even going to be able to get to reach. I'm not even going to be able to reach Satan. I'm not. This game hates me so much. So, so deeply. This great run is going to be thrown with the blank card and the chaos card. A combo that I've been waiting 
very long time to be able to use, and I'm gonna lose. I don't even know where to go. I don't... I would like to reach one of the secret rooms. So I guess I should try to go backwards here. But I'm gonna get hurt in this room and probably die. Why did that not blow up that door? I don't understand. Right, I'm just gonna finish this room off, I think, because it's almost, almost dead anyway. Why do these guys have so much health? Why are these enemies so overpowered? I really don't understand. Nope. Get away from me. There's still another one? Oh my god. These guys are the worst. The small ones are really bad too. Just every type of enemy here. I would... Oh, they're just so... I don't... I don't know what to do at this point. This... This runs over. What was up there is something really stupid, I think. I don't recall. Oh yeah, it's the Fallen. I'm just gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. Don't touch me. Whatever the hell this thing is, he's he's pretty easy to beat. There we go. Some health, please, one of these fires. One room away from the secret room, which could have good stuff in it, probably not, but secret or the super secret room is probably over this way, so I'll go this way. Nope, that's it. That's it. That's so over. Alright. Surprised I actually lived through that. <coughs> I now have a battery so I can use the uh, Chaos card in our case. So now I have a couple usages of the Chaos card. And I got a penny, that's fucking fantastic. It's really a shame this is going to go to waste. It really is. I thought once I got the Chaos card, I thought that was it. I thought, you know, that was that was the end all right there. I got it, but it's not because I... There's the Satan fight, but I'm probably going to die in this room. Yep. Oh my god, my orbitals have saved my ass so many times. Please have health, please have something something useful in here. Okay. Alright. I now also, if I take damage and teleport out, uh, I can actually have multiple retries at it. Alright. I, I, I definitely can do this. It's just a matter of whether or not I will be able to, if that makes any sense. Alright, so bomb right around there. Alright. Fallen fight's probably gonna be the hardest part, because I'm just gonna use Chaos Card against them both other times, so... Please, there we go. That's what I was hoping for right there, yeah. And of course that damages them each other, alright. Die, just die. Just die, 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 okay. There we go. And I still have the Chaos Card. Oh, that... Actually, just kill. That's strange. Okay, that's not normally supposed to do that, but okay. <sighs> okay, do I want to try and find a way to go down to the dark room? I guess I might as well. Might as well. Probably should uh, should recharge my blank card though. So uh, probably. Actually, I'm just gonna check these rocks and leave. I have no reason to actually kill this boss. I'm really. I was. I was getting really concerned that I was actually going to lose before I got to use the chaos card. <laughs> As you can see, guaranteed one hit kill. Anything that it touches, it it kills. It does travel in the direction that you throw it in, though. So like, like if you're facing down, like if you're in a neutral position here and you're shooting to the right, it will throw it downwards. So definitely something to keep note of. Uh, it's got these really, this really strange giant black leech guy. Ouch. That hurt. No fires in here. It's a blue heart though, that's good. Okay. I figure because since I have Thunder Thighs, I I might as well just go ahead and go for it. I'm just Oh no, I wasted god damn it. I forgot that it doesn't you don't hold it up for, for a second, you just throw it right away. Alright, that's fine. I actually waste the card, so. That's all I'm going for really, is just to not waste the actual card. I can waste the usages of the card all I want. I would still obviously rather not do that either. Because I only have so many of those as well, but much better than wasting the actual card. There we go, okay. Uh, there's a battery there, that's fine, I'll leave it there. It's down here. Oh, just some more of these guys. I don't remember what- these guys have a really weird name. They have like an actual, like, name? I don't- ouch. I didn't teleport at least. I want someone, if anyone knows, if anyone in the comments knows why the hell I keep randomly teleporting, let me know, because I'm 
probably not gonna feel like trying to look it up because I have so many items. But I was it was happening pretty early on, so I'm guessing it has something to do with this cursed eye thing. But I don't know why, because I don't remember. It, God damn it! I don't remember it ever doing that in the past. It's really obnoxious. Get out of here! Thank you. You didn't even drop anything special, even though he was a champion form. All right. What's in here? All right, it's these assholes. No thanks. No thank you. I don't want it at all. There's a heart in here, apparently. Yes, there is. What is this? Oh yeah, this is where I picked up the chaos card for the first time and shed my pants slightly. Ooh. Got really excited and then proceeded to nearly die because this game is incredibly cruel. Uh, I could go up and get that heart. Try to go to the challenge room. I don't really care. I'm just gonna go do this. Do even want to? Is it even worth trying to kill these guys? Ooh. Yeah, probably not. No, I'm about to die, actually. I need to make sure that I don't die. Just in case that I don't actually have those things unlocked. So you know what? I'm leaving. I'm done. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not gonna gonna jeopardize those unlocks, because I'm about to unlock the negative and the, um... Was I about to unlock? Might have been Mom's Knife, actually. Which I completely forgot I don't actually have unlocked yet. So I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna go. So whatever. Probably could have gone to the dark room if I was lucky, but... I think we've already seen this cutscene, but maybe since we're unlocking the negative, it might be different now. Let's see. It seems to be the same, okay. I don't know why he does that for the shoal, considering that it's the, the cathedral that leads him to the, the chest. But anyway, there's Mom's knife, and there's the negative. With the negative, so now when we beat uh, Mom for the first time, we'll now be presented with uh, the negative item. Uh, every time you beat Mom, whereas in the, the first in the first game, I think it was only if you didn't take damage that you would get the you'd get the Polaroid. Now you can get either the Polaroid or the negative. You'll actually get both once you unlock both. But right now we have the negative, and that will allow us to go to the dark room. It's also not a trinket anymore. It's now a, a full-on item. But I'll describe more about that later. So oh, thank you guys for watching. Pretty crazy run. Just really glad I actually managed to use the um, the chaos card. It's ridiculously overpowered as expected. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also check out the description for a link to my Twitch.tv channel, and um, if you're interested in joining the full screen, you can apply down there and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.